Oh, hey there, Brain Stuff. I'm Lauren, and it's time we had a talk about the moon. We think that about 4.5 billion years ago, something the size of Mars crashed into Earth and ricocheted into space to form the moon. It even took some of Earth's mantle with it, so there's ancient chunks of our planet merged with space stuff up there, just hanging out in orbit. But even with all that, I'm not sure the moon gets all the credit it deserves. If it wasn't there, things would be a lot different here on our little blue planet. First, we'd see some pretty drastic changes to the ocean. The moon is responsible for most of the effects of the tides. Without it, tides would only be a third of the size that they are now. This is because the sun would account for the major gravitational pull affecting the altitude of the ocean. And while the sun is bigger than the moon, like, you know, 400 times bigger, it is also much further away. So the tides it creates only have about 40% of the strength of our current lunar tides. Surfing wouldn't be the only thing that suffered. Lots of ecosystems rely on the motion and changes of the tides. Plus, the moon holds a bulge of tidal water around Earth's middle that would disperse without its gravity, changing coastlines around the world. Did you know that the moon helps slow down the rotation of Earth? Without it, we wouldn't have 24-hour days that'd be more like six to eight hours long. We'd have to remake our calendar to accommodate between 1,100 and 1,400 days per year. Not only would that screw up all of our schedules, but a faster rotation would also increase the amount of wind and storms on our planet. If that's not enough extreme climate change for you, no moon would also destabilize the Earth's axis, changing our tilt with side effects that would render the planet inhospitable to lots of its creatures. Right now we're tilted at a lovely 23 degrees, which gives us relatively mild seasons and environments. But the moon acts as an external force that stabilizes that angle. But without it, we could wobble anywhere between zero degrees, with no seasons and barely any sunlight, to 85 degrees, where the planet would fall over on its side like a kitten on a catnip high. Mars, for example, wobbles between only 15 and 35 degrees, and it experiences drastic climate changes where ice drifts all the way from the poles to the equator. Finally, gang, I don't know if you've noticed, but the moon's pretty darn bright up there in the middle of the night. Uh, sure, the sun is 400,000 times brighter, but sometimes it still hits your eye like, well, you know. Which means that without it, our nights would be a lot darker than we're used to. You try stumbling around in the woods without a moon and see how you like it. Now that you know the major ways not having moon would affect us, it kind of gives a new meaning to the children's story Good Night Moon, doesn't it? So what's your favorite thing about the moon? Type your lunar nerdery into the comments below, and hey, while you're there, you should subscribe to our channel. Why? Because science.